It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107. Now your boy Reese checking in with Drope. So my boy, man, everything good, dog. We got to <laughs> talk about some things, man. My it's boy hit me said he got some great things going on in the city real soon for the kids. Yeah. But uh, first, let's let's talk about the stuff that people want to talk about that anyway. you definitely need to talk about. <laughs> and uh, I've been rocking with Drope since I'm tight to death days, yeah. man. Y'all yeah. don't know about <laughs> it. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but uh, what's going on? We all know you've been with Grand Hustle for a minute. You know what I mean? Took took you in as you know one of the the, the cornerstone artists, mm-hmm. platinum artists came out the <clears throat> box swinging. Swinging. You know what I mean? And now you got your own situation, but people it, gonna it, clear it up because you know it really was it was no it really wasn't no misunderstanding. It's just I probably worded it wrong. You know, um, you know me and me and my homeboy we come from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I just moved up into you know um, moving up into getting like a new label. Yeah, you know what I mean, um, for myself and something I just wanted to do for myself and be able to put some of my artists out that's from Atlanta that, you know, was able to see from the point of view that I see Atlanta from. And we just, I did that with Louis Lennon, so we got three crazy music group going on. Right. It's just a big deal right now. Um, and Tip is very supportive of it. Uh, actually, we I just left. We just, studio we night, just, we late. We just left the studio like 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah. <laughs> we actually... <laughs> Just jumped back up and just came on down because, you know, we got big things to do this weekend. Right, right, right. I got you. So, Three Crazy Music Group. I remember you, it kind of like suddenly jumped off a couple years back. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, it was just me just stamping it and just talking about it. And I was just, I was at a point that time where I was just real frustrated and I wanted to have something of my own anyway. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, I just started uh, branding it like a couple of years ago. And um, now it's alive, you know. I got you. So yeah. tell me about the artists on this this new situation. So wait, wait. Let me just clear it up. So Dro is no problem with Grand Hustle. You still Grand I'm Hustle. Still, I'm still Hustle Gang till I die. Okay, there it yeah, is. You, but you know, every strong tree has branches. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, and it's Ooh. just one of these, one of them. And so you know, and uh, the the new artist on the label is called Louis Lennon. One of the best guys I've ever met in my life, man. Oh, He's man, actually sitting you. right here. I've been seeing, bro. I've been yeah. seeing him moving. Bro, Talk bro. to me, Louis. Yeah, man, I've been working for a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? We just end up crossing paths just from keep, you know, doing the street grind. Actually met through a mutual friend, Matt Boney, you mm-hmm. know, put us together. And ever mm-hmm. since, we just been laughing together every day. <laughs> yeah, my it's easy to laugh with Dro, bro. Dro, you might have a career on your hands in comedy after this thing <laughs> all over with, bro. Nothing Everybody funny about him, but he definitely got some jokes, though. Yeah. All right, so so Dro, tell me about your headspace right now. Like, what is what is the mission for Young Dro with this new label and and still being an artist too? Well, you know, we really just trying to build a brand. Um, really, just you know, trying to keep keep the music out there, and you know, um, venture off and doing the hard tickets, and mm. you know, um, you know, just just making sure making sure everything is possible for for my artists and for my family. Um, we have a, I have a foundation, um, Heart for the Kids, that I'm doing. Right, and um, we have a um, we have a situation Sunday. But we're we're giving back to the kids on the um, at, at the Boys and Girls Club on, on Bankhead, and uh, we're just gonna be giving back school supplies and whatever. whatever. Nah, don't downplay it, bro. Cause you got haircuts. Yeah, we got you haircuts. got, we got we you got, doing got, hair. <laughs> they got they doing. They got nail techs. They got free food. <laughs> free food. Got jumpers. Um, the things they can jump in. But mostly, it's just like you know. I wish like a rapper would have came to my hood and. Right. And did what I'm about to do. And I and I wanna just see the smile on the kids' faces when I'm able to get them something that they need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That they really need, literally, you know what I'm saying? Right. And education is the most important thing. Do you feel like because of your status and your stature in the community and being from Atlanta, that when they see you supporting education, you think they wanna go to school? Yeah, it's gonna be back to school with Dro. Mm. You know, um I support that a thousand percent, you know what I mean? Um, right. Without that, I don't think it could be no future with the kids. You know, education is key. Mm-hmm. You know, knowledge is everything. And I just feel like I want to be a part of that, you know. And um, because I really, when I was coming up, I didn't get school supplies and stuff. Like, we just had to deal with what we had. Right. And I'm very thankful that I'm in this position to even do this. And I want my children to see this so they can be, when they get older, you know, right. probably mimic that, you know. That's definitely what's up, bro. We uh do the same thing in the community with our with our group and I uh, just appreciate what you're doing for real. Mm-hmm. From the bottom of the whole city's heart, you you going right where it needs to be done. You ain't up in Buckhead doing it for the cameras. Exactly. You were at where it needs to be done. So salute to you on that, bro. Thank you. For real. Now, as an artist, we just sitting here kicking it with 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 Dro Three Craze Music Group. 
slash hustle gang for life, like for you life. said. And uh, you, you what? You, so you like you a rapper? You can't hit notes. I ain't gonna call you a singer, <laughs> even though you be having that R and B swag sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, what do you look for in an artist with you being so multi talented? Um, character. <clears throat> um, a lot of characters should be in the artist. A sense of humor should be available. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, characters are welcome. <laughs> but, <laughs> I got um, you. Like you know, once you had it, you know, that, that sense of humor. It, it it allows it allows you to be flexible. You know, you're not the the mean, bougie, moody type. Right. You know what I mean. <clears throat> Even if you got a, like a little bad side, I would like I would like for you to be a funny person. You know, because I think like you know, laughter is like joy. And you right. You never should let nobody steal your joy. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I definitely feel you. Now speaking of artists with character, you got Jocelyn. Is she on your label? Uh, I mean, actually, I mean, no, she just we just working together. Um, I actually want to do like a whole CD on them. You know what I mean? Um, what do you we, mean, like, like you gonna executive producer? Yeah, then y'all gonna yeah, collaborate? Yeah, but we, but actually, she lets me write. You know what I mean? You know, mm. she just comfortable with how I, I put stuff out. So it was just, it, it was gonna be cool. Like me here and Rocco to get one called "Girls Gone Wild." I know that's gonna be crazy. Thing. Like you wouldn't even think. Like you were like, oh, JJ went in. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was it, it was just hard. You know what I'm saying? And um, I appreciate her even letting me do that. You know what I mean? So right, I'm looking forward to working. Now, if rumors, she's pregnant right now. I, I don't, I, don't know yeah, nothing I, about I, it. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we, we kind of been hearing the rumors that she is basically about to have, oh, with child, that's how we're going to put it. That's how my grandma put it, with child. So do y'all trying to knock this stuff out now and get it out of the way before she got to, you know, go on that maternity leave I, or something? I mean, I mean well, you know, um, I've I've seen women that was pregnant and, you know, they still can get music done. Right. Um, from little mama to, you know, candy, you know, everybody, everybody know. I mean, it, sh it shouldn't be a problem, man. I wouldn't do anything to jeopardize, you know, the, the um, becoming of the baby. Right. You know what I mean? If, and if it'll be less work, if anything, you know what I mean? But I do want to do the project. <clears throat> I got you. Now, we all know Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. <clears throat> it's being said that Dro will be on Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, I was, I was on there. Okay. Yeah, it was a nice little. Yeah, I got my hair cut, put my hair net on. <laughs> <laughs> Had a little foundation, a little blush, and I went on in, man. I was good. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> nah, but um, actually, actually, I saw it, I saw it the other day. I didn't look too shabby. There you go. That's what I was asked. That's what we getting at right now. Was Joe gonna be a reoccurring situation? <laughs> nah, I mean, um, they gotta get that number but, right. Um, I mean, we, we we we're venturing off into it. My artist Louis, um, they they approached him and uh, <clears throat> he's supposed to be taping soon. Okay, yeah, Louis, speak on it. Yeah, I made it on the show. I've been doing an interview for the last few months. So I just got the call uh, from on them like last week that I made it on there. Oh, bro, yeah, congrats, so we, man. We got to start. We got to start here, man. He's just, a star is born. There it I, is. I appreciate everybody for <clears throat> ever having anything to do with the success of me and whoever I'm around. I appreciate the whole Atlanta from Bankhead to the west side, the east side, all, the whole Atlanta, man, north side. I appreciate y'all. Mid Midwest. Mid Midwest Atlanta. Midwest Atlanta. <laughs> What's that? Zone, zone 5. Zone, zone 4.3. Right. <laughs> there it is. You just tuning in. We kicking it with Young Dro, man. We running the gamut right now, talking about the new label situation, the TV situation, everything mm -hmm. like that. But we also talking about the foundation. Mm -hmm. So what else on the horizon do you have coming up for the foundation? Because it's like some big stuff you're doing. Actually, actually, um, it's, I want to um, actually challenge a lot, of, a lot of rappers that, you know, that this didn't finish high school. It's actually, I want to go back to school with Dro really for real. <laughs> like, okay, then. I'm going to go back and get mine. I just want to challenge whoever didn't do it, you know what I mean? And uh, because I got kicked out of high school, and after that I got shot up. So it really just, that wasn't an excuse either, but I'm going right. back to get it. I got you. You know what I mean? So it's really going to be like a back to school thing for me. And I might tape it as well, let y'all see. And also we're, we're working on doing like behind the music, just, you know, everyday mm. life and real stuff. You know what I mean? We might just start throwing up on the net just to let you see. You know what I mean? That's real player right yeah. there, man. I commend you on that, bro, because a lot of time we don't see that or some of us get a little bit apprehensive about putting that positivity back out there, man. So that's dope right there for real. Salute Appreciate you, bro. It. Appreciate it. All right. Anything else you got going, man, you want to talk about for y'all get up out of here? Because I know y'all got a million yeah, things yeah. to do. Um, well, just uh, thank everybody. Um, Eyelash Vision, um, the new team, um, Sierra, Erica, the whole everything going on. I appreciate everybody. Um, Louis Lennon, I appreciate him. Um, uh -huh. Everything, I appreciate the whole city, man, for riding with me. You know what I mean? There it is. And we're going to be August the 7th, 11, from 11 to 4. We had the Boys and Girls Club on Bankhead giving back our time, our money, and our love. 
<laughs> there it is, man. Big shout out to everybody helping put that thing oh, together. And 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 guys, <laughs> we're gonna be. Um, I I really want to touch the Black Lives Matter because some days today, and we have a song called "Change for the Better." Me, Ti, and Manish, and Young Louis Lennon. Um, it's so, gonna be a great song. It's it's all it's, it's it's focused on Black Lives Matter. I think all lives matter. You know, it's just we're just getting the rough end of the stick. You know, yeah, right now. yeah. So um, it's just a, a song called Change for the Better. Be looking out for it, and it's just gonna be like a We Are the World that that Michael Jackson had a long time ago. And it's, I just wanna I wanna invite all the artists that wanna speak out. You know, any celebrity that wanna speak out. I'm a celebrity. I'm speaking out today. Right. Hey, you can put me down on that, bro. Okay. I really salute that right there. We got a uh, little literacy situation we do. We uh try to encourage little kids to start reading mm -hmm. and just getting into it. We give out free toys and stuff. We see about 300 kids a week, you know what I'm saying, with That's that. Deep. Big That's shout out to Manage because they said they was going to get on the project. We got a CD that actually goes with that. They was going to get on that. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, we appreciate y'all. Yeah, they working, bro. They working. So we, I might have to get draw on that thing too, bro. Hey, man, say no more. You know I'm deaf. All right, we're going to send the tracks over to the fine. We're going to work that thing out. Let's go. <laughs> there it is, man. This is How 107 Now Solution. Y'all draw three crazy music group. Yes, sir. Louis, what it do? And there it is. It's How 107 Now. We on.